Being poor sucks, and unfortunately the last few years have been really rough for a lot of Americans. But residents of certain states make a lot less than residents of others. And I don't want to say that all these states suck, but when residents make a lot less money, that's a lot less tax money that the government has to work with. Meaning, in these poorer states, more than likely, the schools won't be that great, the public roads will suck, there'll be fewer nice public parks, and just less money overall to upkeep the towns. But some people love these states due to them being uncrowded. Anyway, let's take a look at the top 10 poorest states in America. Number 10, Tennessee. The state of Tennessee is actually interesting. Although it is the 10th poorest state in the country, there are different levels of wealth all around the state. There is a lot of wealth and achievement in Germantown and in Nashville, but there is also a lot of income inequality. The rest of the state's population is significantly underemployed and relatively poor compared to the rest of the nation. Just a few hours of driving around Tennessee would reveal entirely distinct areas of poverty. 14.6 of the people that live in Tennessee live in poverty, and they have the 24th worst unemployment rate in the nation. But the residents of this state put in a lot of really hard work. Yet they still live in one of the poorest states in the country, mainly due to the lack of innovative new technologies and a subpar educational system. However, on the bright side of things, Tennessee has some of the nation's most promising cities and is really beginning to start to control its crime rates. So hopefully soon we won't see them on this list anymore. Number 9. Michigan Last year Michigan wasn't even on this top 10 list. By a couple of spots actually. And overall Michigan has respectable employment rates. Demonstrating the state's hard work ethic. Additionally, because the cost of living is so low here, even subpar wages go a decent ways. Despite having some of the friendliest, most giving residents in the nation, Michigan is still somewhat an underdeveloped state. Let's look at number 8, South Carolina. 90% of the working adults that live in South Carolina live paycheck to paycheck, and that's actually quite a bit higher than the national average. 75% of America lives paycheck to paycheck, so that's quite lower than 90%. And as we go through this list, we'll discover that the majority of poorer states are actually located in the South. There are several explanations for why the South is so poor. But most economists concur that it's because of the Civil War. The northern states made investments in technology and infrastructure. While, of course, the South stayed devoted to agriculture. As a result, after the Civil War, both the Southern economy and their education suffered. However, many people in places like South Carolina are likely to say no if you ask them if they think they are poor. On paper, a lot of these states don't appear to have much. But if you're surrounded by good family and good friends, are you ever really poor? Well, yeah, you're still poor financially, but at least you're happy. Number 7. Arkansas Many bank accounts in Arkansas are empty. The average household income is only $49,000 per year. And they have a poverty rate of 16.1%. The state of Arkansas used to be among the most impoverished states in the nation even way worse than it is now. Back in the 1940s, nearly half of the people that lived in Arkansas were in poverty. So it's good to see that Arkansas has been gradually improving. Of course, not every child that grew up here grew up in poverty. The Clinton family who came from Arkansas are unquestionably not poor, and also Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, is extremely wealthy. And they both grew up in Arkansas. Number 6. Kentucky Kentucky has an average household income of just $46,000 per year. And 1 in 5 of the residents that live in Kentucky live in poverty. Some of the suburbs of Louisville are actually doing pretty decent. But the rest of Kentucky is seriously in debt. The areas outside of urban Kentucky are actually really struggling. 
And two out of the three people that live in the state live in these areas. Number five, Alabama. There's actually a little controversy behind Alabama's poverty. One side will argue that uncontrolled capitalism has led to extreme poverty in the state, similar to the other states we've discussed so far. Others will argue that Alabama can manage their own financial future, and that the residents just aren't working hard enough. Of course, I'm not going to take sides in this debate. Nonetheless, the poverty is really concerning. In certain counties of Alabama, the poverty rate is close to 40%. The long-term well-being of the people living in Alabama is being impacted by the state's generational poverty. The poorest counties in Alabama are also among the fattest counties in the country, which is evidence that poor food quality is harmful to humans. The United Nations typically conducts studies on poverty throughout the world. But recently, they did some studies in Alabama. And they saw that some of the circumstances are comparable to that of third world countries that they've studied before. But you know who's not poor and lives in Alabama? Their governor. He made more than any other public figure in the state in 2017, with earnings of around $11 million. Number 4. West Virginia West Virginia has an 18% poverty rate and a per-family income of just $44,000. But their unemployment rate in the state isn't actually that high. It's just mainly the fact that they don't have that many good jobs. The number one supplier of jobs in the state of West Virginia is actually Walmart. That just shows you the low quality of the jobs that are available in West Virginia. Although West Virginia is truly a beautiful state, it's challenging to develop large cities and industries due to the state's many rolling hills. Additionally, a significant portion of the population has been affected by prescription drugs and alcohol. West Virginia leads the nation in overdose deaths. In the last few years, we've seen more people leaving West Virginia than people coming to West Virginia, which most likely will be a trend until they solve some of these issues. Number three, Louisiana. Over 19% of the locals living in Louisiana are considered to be living in poverty, and the average yearly household income is about $46,000. The abundance of natural resources in Louisiana is both a blessing and a curse. While the state benefits financially from the exploitation of oil and natural gas, many of its citizens have grown reliant on the industry for their employment. But unfortunately, these industries won't endure forever. And people who are poor in Louisiana unfortunately stay poor here. Because year after year, Louisiana finishes in the top five poorest states. Number two, New Mexico. The average household income in New Mexico is just under $46,000. That's about $10,000 below the national average. And 20% of the people that live in New Mexico live in poverty. And sadly, one in three children that are raised up in New Mexico are brought up in poverty. Native American reservations and undocumented immigrants further inflate poverty rates in this state. New Mexico is on the top of the list of states that depend the most on the federal government for assistance. This means that New Mexico is dependent on federal aid to help pay for its social welfare and health care programs. Because New Mexico simply cannot raise enough money through their state income tax. And rather than things getting better, things in New Mexico are getting worse. Future reliance on federal assistance will increase as a result of the fact that the state is losing more young people who are of working age than it's gaining. So some serious changes need to happen if they don't want to be on this list anymore. Number 1. Mississippi Almost one in four households in Mississippi are in poverty. 19.6% of the population here live in poverty. That is the same level of poverty as a lot of third world countries. And in Mississippi, the unemployment rate is over 7%. And on top of that, one in four Mississippians are not graduating from high school. 
It's really difficult to make a higher income when you don't even successfully graduate from high school. When you search Mississippi on Google, the first thing that Otto suggests is, why is Mississippi so poor? But no, seriously, why is Mississippi so underdeveloped? Well, it's the same exact reasons that we've already covered in a lot of other states. But Mississippi just takes it to a whole new level, such as insufficient work prospects and poor education. Also, they really do have high incarceration rates. That doesn't help either. And Mississippi also does have a long history of racial segregation. So these factors and just the fact that a lot of people in Mississippi rely on unemployment benefits. So they feel okay with being poor knowing that they have that safety net there. But of course, a lot of people in the state are not like this. Of course, Mississippi is full of hardworking people. And I really hope that Mississippi finds a solution to all of its problems. Well, that's all we have for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the top 10 poor states. I have a lot more content on the way, so please subscribe.